Jenny McKenzie, feel like a day away from being 30 months pregnant, 31 weeks pregnant. Um, kind of missed the 30, the 29, 30 inch window for you there. I like just got busy, got crazy. Um, what I have for you is another pregnancy safe moderate intensity interval circuit that I'm going to do for you today. I would really like less to do this twice through, but the first time I filmed it, there were just so many interruptions. Put my daughter down for a nap, and I was like, I might as well just do both. So just ignore when you hear me say later on to repeat the workout because you don't want to do this four times. I suppose you could do it four times if you wanted. And we are also going to start with a, um, a bit of a warm up here to kind of warm up all the muscles we're going to be using. Um, and I'll tell you about the workout. So the workout, it consists of 10 exercises and we're going to do them for 40 seconds on and 20 seconds off um, if you're more of a beginner level. Or you can stay with me, I'm going to do 50 seconds on and with 10 seconds rest. Um, and that's all we're going to get for all the 10 exercises and then in between you rest for a minute and you go back and you do it again. Um, or you can just watch this whole video because that's what we're going to do. I thought about abbreviating pregnancy safe hit, um, but if you do the abbreviations here, just stretch out the quad, if there's kind of, I mean, you get kind of close to an expletive in there. And I was like, man, I can't, we can't be having that. All right, stretch out the arms a bit, stretch out the back. Cross over in front of you, do some high knees. So I like the mitt until I, I mean, if you can think of something better, post it below in the comments, but moderate intensity interval training circuit is the best I can do um, right now. So, all right, now we're gonna kind of open up the hips a little bit to the side here, because we're gonna be doing a lot of lateral leg raises. So I really wanna make sure um, we stretch out the pelvic floor and we stretch out the glutes. Um, before we do this and kind of open up the hips just like we open up the chest. Alright, so let me get my timer start, started. Um, let me demonstrate the first exercise first. So this first exercise is alternating curtsy lunge leg lift. So I'm going to start with my left leg. I'm going to bring it behind my right. I'm going to come into a lunge and then I'm going to raise my leg as high as I can. Bring it back. Take the right hand leg behind my left. Come up. Raise that right leg out to the side. And again, you um. You're not going for a lot of speed here. Go as fast as you're able to without losing control or losing your balance. Um, and if you need to grab a chair or if you need to tap that foot when you come up, that is fine. That is great. We are all at different levels of fitness and um, improving. And you should just be proud of yourself for doing something while pregnant. Not a lot of people do. All right. So right behind the left, come up, raise the leg. And what I mean by that toe tap, I'll show you right here. If you need to tap the toe and regain balance before you raise that leg, that is perfectly fine. You may also want to tap the toe to see if you can, if um, regaining that balance will allow you to raise your leg even higher. Sink as low as you're able. And make sure you're contracting that gluteus medius um, and your hip abductor muscle to really get as high of a leg raise as you can. If you're in the 40 second crew, you can go ahead and take it. You can take your break now. If you're at the 50 second crew, stay with me. We're almost there. All right, 50 second crew, you can stop for your 10, 10 second break. The next um, exercise is a squat. You're gonna come all the way up, do a dummy squat, and you're gonna jump. And we're gonna start now. So, weight back in the heels, think as low as you can with the squat, come up, pop your hips forward, do a dummy squat, come up. It really helps too. Again, good fundamentals for the squat. If you can um, do, uh, mimic my arm motions, because that's going to help you jump upwards without jumping out. So see how I squat? Keep the weight in the heels. I come all the way up, pop my hips, contract my glutes, do a dummy squat, bring my hands up like that. And again, you do want to do this at a good, um, a good clip. I'm just giving you all kinds of angles here. Um, but not, you're in the 40 second crew, you can stop now. But again, you want to be able to hold a conversation. The object here isn't to get our heart racing more to get in some light cardio and sculpt. 50 second crew, you can stop. Our next under exercise is a pendulum. This one's fun, but it's a balance challenge. So it's like you're going to swing your leg three times and then laterally raise it. And we're going to start now. So one, two, three, and then it's a controlled leg raise out to the side. Switch your feet. One, two, three. Controlled leg raise out to the side. Again, flex your foot so that you're not in danger of kind of tripping yourself up on the floor. One, two, three. Lateral raise that leg. Like. And again, you're going for as full extension as you can out to the side. So really make sure you're contracting all those muscles involved. 
like I said, your gluteus medius, which is the outside of your glute, and that hip adductor, which takes your, um, the leg away from your body, or abductor, I'm sorry. This works in both, so I get kind of confused. One's towards the midline of your body, oh gosh, sorry, 50 second crew, we are done. So if you're 40 seconds, you did two seconds too long, right? Kind of step check it out. Our next exercise is a sumo squat, reverse jack. We're gonna start now. So keep your legs wide, and you're gonna try and touch the floor with your hands, and jack it out. But instead of bringing your legs outward when you jack, you're gonna bring them in. So I call it a reverse jack. Sumo squat. Again, maintain good form. You, want to, you still want to keep the weight back, um, but it's okay if your knees go out over your feet. And again, if you, and try, try as hard as you can to um, get your hands to touch that floor. All right? I know I'm not doing it every time either. It's tough. I mean, it's a balance challenge. It's a weight challenge. 40 second crew, you can stop. And you really have to be engaging that pelvic floor and all those muscles in your hamstrings so that you can't make it. I think I also picked the wrong shirt choice here. 50 second crew, you can stop. You're probably getting little flashes in my belly, which you probably used to. The next exercise, um, which we're going to start now, is a knee raise, and then you're going to kick that leg out, you're going to bring it back, and you're going to do two jumping jacks. So you're going to bring that knee up, controlled, controlled leg raise out, two jumping jacks. So it's kind of like a knee up, and you're going to kick out, come back. I hesitate to call it a kick because I really want it to be a controlled motion. I don't want you just out there flailing. All right? Because the idea is to contract the quad here and then to contract all the muscles of the quad and hamstring. Whoops, two jacks as you bring it out. And the jumping jacks just sort of just going to keep your heart rate a little elevated and it's going to cause you to need to regain your center of gravity. 40 second crew, you may stop. 50 second crew, stay with me. All right, kick, two jumping jacks. It's kind of hard to talk and do the same kind. 50 second crew, you are done. The next exercise is we're going to do a running man lateral jump squat. We're going to start now. So you're going to do one, two, three, four, running man, lateral jump, squat. One, two, three, four, lateral jump back, squat. This is why a mat is, mat is nice and helpful because you can kind of make sure you're, if you've got small space, you can find that area. Um, four, and it's kind of a good way to gauge how far across you can lateral jump. Again, make sure in the lateral jump, you're engaging the muscles of your pelvic floor um, so that you don't, you know, have a common issue with your TT, they say in the south. All right, 40 second crew, you can stop. And also, it's just really good to engage all the muscles you can. 50 second crew, stay with me. Four second flat. Squat. Right in the middle. All right, 50 second crew, stop. The next exercise is a lunge back star jump. So we're going to start it now. You're going to start at the top of your mat. You're going to lunge backwards. You're going to come up and you're going to do a star jump. You're going to lunge backwards, come up, jump into the star jump. Lunge backwards, get into a good lunge. All right, I'm going to switch angles for you here in a second so you can see. Do what you need to do with those arms to maintain balance during the lunge. So you're going to lunge back, come forward, star jump. Lunge back, come forward, start jump. And you're going to alternate the leg you lunge back with. So that's why you come forward. When you start jump, you regain that balance. You step back. 40 second crew, you may stop. 50 second crew, stay with me. You're doing a really great job. Okay, start jump. Back. 50 second crew, you are done. The next exercise is a squat, lateral jump squat. Pretty self explanatory. Um, we are going to start now. Make sure you're maintaining good form in the squat. You want your feet about hip width apart. You want to put the weight back into your heels. Um, and you want to squat back. If you feel like, I mean, you feel like you're kind of about to fall backwards, that's better than feeling like you're about to fall forwards. Because you really, and you, if you can, even lift up your toes um, when you're in that squat. And if you need to, again, we're not doing this for speed. Make sure you regain that balance. 
a controlled squat. We're not going to look for massive heart rate elevation here. Squat, 40 second group, you're done, 50 second group, stay with me, nice and easy. See, I'm, I'm conversing, but I'm, you know, I'm running out of breath. That's a good sign. This is a good, good pregnancy safe hit. All right, 50 second crew, you're done. So for this next one, I want you to come into a runner's lunge with your hands on the inside, and you're gonna come up into a warrior two, regain balance, hold it for a second, come back down, and I want you to switch legs. All right, I want you to come up into warrior two, regain your balance, come down, and switch legs. Keep your hands on the inside of that foot. That's what's called a runner's lunge. All right, one sec. He's upstairs. Come here. Warrior two. Come down. This is a good thing to do after your heart rate's elevated. We're really isometrically working those legs um, while still staying active. 40 second crew, you can stop. Um, and doing a bit of a little at the same time. Please hang on, buddy. We're almost done. All right, 50 second crew. You may also stop. We've got one more exercise. You do this one more time, and then you are done with the workout. And this one is also an, a, um, kind of a rest you. You're going to come up in the table. And what you're going to do is you're going to lift. First, I have to do the left arm and the right leg. And you're going to bring your elbow as close to that knee as you can without creating too much torsion around your midsection. And you're going to switch. And again, this you definitely do not want to do quickly um, because you want to hold those muscles intention for as long as you can to again isometrically work them after we did all that cardio so you don't want to do too slow too fast just kind of go at a pace that's good for you all right 40 second crew you may stop 50 second crew stay with me you're almost done about five more seconds and you will have made it through the entire first part of the circuit all right Come up, sit here. Now you want to give yourself a minute break. Well, actually a minute, 10 seconds, because you get to finish out um, that break for the last exercise. And then I just want you to rest for a minute, maybe grab some water, do some step taps. Stretch out what areas you feel need stretching, like if your quads feel really tight, maybe do a couple of these. If your hamstrings felt really tight, kind of come forward here. Uh, put your toe in the air, move forward. If you're feeling really good, just kind of do some step touches. Walk around, just make sure you keep that blood flowing because um, you don't want to cool down completely before we start the second iteration of the circuit. That was sort of defeat the purpose of that and the warm up. I'm going to stretch out my quads because I kind of felt tight. Kind of make me do a few of these because um, again, you know, you're doing a lot more lateral leg raises than you were before. If you counter swing with your arms, when you swing your legs like this, it's going to help you maintain your balance as well. Again, don't be afraid to grab that chair. Grab the wall. Grab a person. Keep something handy. All right, it's time to start the second circuit. So we've started the timer. And so I'm going to start with my left leg crossed behind my right. I'm going to do a lunge. I'm going to come up. And I'm going to do a lateral leg raise. I'm going to take my right leg, put it behind my left. I'm going to come up, I'm going to do a lateral leg raise. All right, curtsy lunge, lateral leg raise. And again, if you need to tap that foot for balance before you bring it up and do a lateral lunge, feel free to do that. And if you need to grab a chair, there's nothing wrong with that either. Um, every, we're all at different levels of fitness, we're all working on our balance, we're all getting better. And you do, you're, you're working out while pregnant, you should feel really good about it. Alright, so it's been 40 seconds. If you want to stop now, do 40 20. That's great. I'm going to go ahead and do 50 10. Like I said, I'm feeling pretty good. I've been 50. Our next exercise is a squat, demi squat jump. So you're going to squat and then you're going to come all the way up and do a demi squat and jump. Alright, it's time to start. So again, weight in the heels, always back so you have good form. Weight, demi squat, jump. So your weight is in your heels. You come all the way up, pop your hip forward, do a dummy squat, and you jump. The other side, come down as long as the squat as you're able, keeping good form. Come all the way up, contract the glute, put your hips forward, 
Demi squat, jump. All right. Squat, demi squat, jump. And you aren't trying. You don't want to go really high, just as high as you're able in the jump. And if you need to just come up on your, your calves and not do the jump, that's fine too. If you're stopping at 40 seconds, this is your stopping point. Or you're with me and doing 50, 10. Just keep going. Got three more seconds left. All right, 10 second break. Our next exercise is the pendulum swing. So you're gonna swing your leg three times, raise it all the way out to the side, and you're gonna alternate your legs. All right, let's get ready. So one, two, three, out to the side. Switch legs. Pendulum swing, one, two, three, out to the side. This is kind of a fun one. And again, if you need to grab that chair, um, because this presents too much of a balance challenge, go ahead and do that. It's great. What you're concentrating on here is really contracting um, your gluteus medius here when your leg is completely laterally raised and getting, whoop, getting your leg as high as you can. You're not really so much focused on speed here. Doesn't really matter how fast you swing that leg. All right, if you're stopping at 40 seconds, you are done. If you're with me for 50, keep going. 10 more seconds. I promise you the 50 seconds on and the 10, the, the you know, break half, really, all right, we're done with that. Our next exercise is a sumo squat jack, all right? So when you're doing your sumo squat, it's time to start. Your legs are wide, and try to bring your hands to the ground and come up and do a jack. So sumo squat, jack. Sumo squat, and it, it's kind of a half jack because your legs are already out to the side. You want to stay in position of a good sumo squat, but you're just adding that jump at the end. So when you come down in the sumo squat, try to bring your hands, make heavy hands touch the floor. While keeping that flat back, good form, sumo squat, jack, sumo squat, jack. And I suppose if you wanted, you could do sort of an opposite jack. If you have to put your legs somewhere, I kind of found them a bit awkward. I'm trying to get more creative. Ooh, 40 seconds, stop. 50 seconds, stay with me. All right, 10 second break. So this one is a knee kick, come back, do a full jumping jack. We're gonna start now. So you wanna bring your knee up, kick out, bring your leg back, do a jumping jack. Switch leg, bring it up, kick, back, jumping jack. Again, go as, as fast as you're able um, while still maintaining a slow controlled knee raise and leg kick. Um, and maintaining balance. You do not want to be falling all over the place doing this. That's not the point. If you need to grab that chair for your leg lifts, go ahead and do it. Otherwise, just keep up the good work. All right, you've got five more seconds if you're the 40 second crew. Lift that leg, slow control. 40 seconds, you're done. 50 seconds, stay with me. Lift, kick, jack. Lift, kick, jack. It's very slow and controlled. All right, 50 seconds, you're done. This next one is a running man lateral jump squat. I know that sounds confusing. So you're gonna do four running man. We're starting, by the way. A lateral jump and a squat. I try to get creative for y'all. So two, three, four. A lateral jump and a good squat. One, two, three, four. Do a lateral jump, do a good squat. Come up, run it down. Lateral jump, squat. It's kind of fun, right? Different is good. Lateral or running man four times. Side step, lateral jump. Squat again. Keep the weight in the heels. Keep a flat back. Go as low as you're able while maintaining good form in the squat. Forty seconds. You're done. Fifty seconds. Stay with me. Pass over. Squat. Run it down. 50 seconds, you're done. Our next exercise is the lunge. You're gonna lunge back and you're gonna do a star jump, switch feet. So I'm gonna do a side view for you here. You're gonna start here. You're gonna lunge back, come up, do a star jump. Switch your feet, come lunge back, come up, do a start, that's a jack, sorry, star jump. So lunge back, come up, star jump. Lunge back, come up, star jump. I'm gonna do the other side for you. 
So you're gonna, it's easier for me to see my patterns with you. Lunge back, come up, star jump, lunge back. Do what you need to do with your arms to keep that balance. Come back up, star jump. So you're lunging back, not forward. Lunge back, come up, star jump. Lunge back, come up, star jump. Well, 40 seconds, you're done. 50 seconds, stay with me. Trying to give you all different kinds of angles here. Start. 50 seconds, you're done. So our next exercise is another squat, lateral jump. So it's a squat, lateral, lateral jump, jump. So it's just a squat, lateral jump. Squat, lateral jump. Sorry, I couldn't read my handwriting. I suck right on the circuits. I don't want to miss a move. They want to cheat you or entertain you. Squat, lateral jump. Squat, lateral jump. Squat, yes, jump. Squat, can you help girls? Lateral jump. Squat, one second. Lateral jump. Squat. <laughs> this one's pretty self standard. Just make sure you're maintaining good form with your squat. 40 seconds, you're done. 50 seconds, stay with me. Squat, lateral jump. Squat, lateral jump. Squat, 50 seconds, you are done. You get a nice 10 second break. Okay, Jennifer, it's okay, it's okay. It's raining, so my uh, my dog and my, my cat, everyone's kind of freaking out over here. Um, all right, so this next one, we're gonna do up, a lunge. So this is your runner's lunge. You're gonna come up to warrior two. You're gonna come back down and you're gonna switch the foot. You're gonna come back up, oh, this is a bit, it's a balance challenge. Come back up to warrior two. Bring your hands inside your foot for a lover's lunge. Bring that leg back, come up, warrior two. And you're just gonna go as fast as you're able. Oh, Lily, can you move over, please? Lily, Lily, they can't see, darling. You're a good girl. All right, 40 seconds, you're done. 50 seconds, stay with me, I'm sorry. So you do a lunge, warrior you two, come back down, switch your legs, come up. Sorry, she cheated y'all a little bit there. Coming up, and for our last exercise, we're gonna go into a table, and you're just gonna do an alternating arm and leg lift. I don't know why I'm facing that one, let's start it this way. So come into a table position here, and you're just gonna do an alternating arm. They're kind of freaking out because of me. Great. So raise your opposite arm, opposite leg. Bring it as close as bring the um, your elbow as close to your knee as it will go. Out. Elbow as close to your knee as it will go. Out. Elbow as close to your knee as it will go. As close to your knee as it will go. A little bit of a cool down for you here, but it should still be working your obliques nicely. 40 seconds stop, 50 seconds stay with me. Two burn off. 